Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to the last video of the subject wise breakdown series and in this particular video we'll be covering everything about chemistry. So without any further ado, let's go. So I'm probably telling this for the million time but yes I was enrolled in the Yakin 2.0 batch and the teachers that I'd studied from were uh, Sarvesh Dikshit sir for physical chemistry, the one and only Pankaj Sejaria for organic chemis chemistry. Uh, for an organic chemistry, I studied from Mohit Dadij sir. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Now at first I didn't know a lot about Mohit sir. I mean, I heard his first name and usually I, I preferred Amit Mahajan sir for an organic chemistry and uh, not seeing him in Yakin 2.0 did disappoint me a little bit. But regardless, I thought ki let's study one chapter from Mohit sir and then decide ki I mean, I have to study it or I don't have to study it. And I did study one chapter from him and he was awesome. I was like, damn, he's the perfect teacher and he actually is. He is so underrated, I feel. But everybody talks about Amit sir, which, who is also great, by the way. But Mohit sir is really underrated. He's such a good teacher. But there's something about his way of teaching which is very different and very unique. And uh, I hate inorganic chemistry. I still do. I'll always hate it. But uh, yeah, thodi dher ke liye hi sahi, but he made me fall in love with the subject and hence I stick to him for the rest of the inorganic chemistry. For the books, I only went for the NCRTs. Now you may ask that uh, physical chemistry ke NCRT, do we have to read it, do we don't have to read it? So according to me, you, uh, you can skip the NCRT for physical chemistry. I mean you can if you want to but it's not necessary. I personally didn't read uh, NCRT for physical chemistry except for a few chapters like uh, surface chemistry. For organic though I've read the NCRT quite nicely especially the last few chapters polymers, uh, biomolecules, Maki ye jo, uh, haloalkane, alcohol, aldehyde, ye sab, I guess I have read it like one two two times but ye akri ke jo chapter hai, polymer, biomolecule you can skip your notes but don't skip NCRT for these chapters. And for inorganic chemistry, obviously NCRT is everything. I have read inorganic chemistry very thoroughly from NCRT. Like, bilkul line by line padi hai, and that too for at least 6 to 7 times I will say. And still it was weak. Meri phir bhi inorganic chemistry weak thi and that's the reason I hated it. Um, because there is a lot to memorize, bahut cheeze learn karni padti hai, and it's just very difficult. It was just very difficult for me. So you try to like start, I mean, when start, karo thoda thoda pehle se hi padna shuru kar do, so that you don't have a lot to read at the end and you don't have a lot to memorize. Because baar baar padna is the only key. Baar baar padna, revise karna inorganic ko, that is the only key for um, inorganic chemistry. Now for the lecture part, I have read every lecture uploaded by the teachers that I just told earlier and obviously I watched all and obviously I watched all the lectures on 2x speed and took notes simultaneously and then again the same process continues after watching all the lectures of a particular chapter I uh, and agar NCRT required us me like if it's a chapter of inorganic or organic so after reading the NCRT revising the notes the same rituals doing the DPP and then a question bank from neat prep uh, as I said for physics, for chemistry as well, I think like 150 question minimum for from every chapter is enough, you'll be sorted. And I've said it like a thousand times but I'll say it again, never miss tests and whenever you commit mistakes, make sure to include them in your notes so that you can, so that you can avoid those mistakes kabhi dobara. Because mistakes repeat karna is the worst thing you can do. I have done it, so take lessons. And then just like you do for physics, make sure that you make formula sheet for every chapter of physical chemistry. Because after you make a formula sheet, you'll be able to revise the whole physical chemistry in less than two hours. Because physical chemistry ke jo bhi questions hai, I feel they are asked straight from the formulas or uske alama kuch bhi nahi poochta hai. So make sure that you do that. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully I have covered everything about chemistry as well. The physics uh, and biology videos are already up. So now as promised, hopefully I have fulfilled my promise of sharing everything with you guys subject wise. But if there is anything left, you can comment it down and I'll try to cover that too. And yeah, I'll see you in a brand new video very soon. 
please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button on your way back take care of yourself be happy be safe goodbye